Whether you knew it or not, USB is now an integral part of your life. We use it to charge our cell phones, our music players, even our video game controllers. But why can't we make little nifty devices that do random things with it? For example, cool yourself down. Well today, on USB Power, that's exactly what we're going to do. Today we're going to build a USB powered mini AC because ice cold AC sets you free. All you really need for this is a small box and a couple PC fans. Now you can get the PC fans at the store, but I just so happen to have a dead unit laying around that I pulled them out of. I'm also going to wire everything up to a switch that I got at the electronics store because it makes it much easier to turn on and off. The first order of business is to cut some holes for the fans. We need to make an intake and an outtake. Standard hardware applies. I'm going to be using a makeshift Dremel tool here, and then I'm going to cut these holes out. If you don't have that laying around, you can always improvise and cut the holes out some other way. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side as well. When this is done, we're almost ready to move on to the next step. Now that our holes are cut, we're going to put the fans on top of them and seal them down. I'm going to use hot glue, but you could easily improvise with something like super glue, maybe even Elmer's if you put enough on there. And here's our unit with the two fans mounted right on top. Now it's time to move on to the wiring process. First, we need to connect the fans cables together. We're then going to head over to the switch and tie the red cables to the ACC connection. This is typically found in the center. Then we're going to put the black cables onto the ground connection. Next, I'm going to grab a 9 volt battery connector and tie the red cable to the power input and then put the black cable on the ground. When all said and done, I'll seal everything together with some hot glue. Now here's a USB cable that I cut off at the end. As you'll see, there are four wires present but we don't need the white or green wire. Those carry data and we're only looking to carry power. So go ahead and snip those off. Now, take your USB cables and wrap them around the nine volt battery connector. Red on red, black on black. Plug it in and test it. Looks like we're cooking with gas. Now, as you may or may not know, USB carries about five volts of electricity. These fans, for the most part, run off 12 volts, so they are going to run a little bit slower than usual, but that's really not much of an issue. They will still put out plenty of air to cool you down. Now that we see the device is properly functioning, it's time to pour in some ice cubes. Once we flip it on, cool air begins streaming out immediately. When the ice eventually melts, all you have to do is dump it in the sink. But if you're not into that, grab an ice pack. It'll save you a lot of cleanup. Now running off USB is awesome, but what if your power goes out or if you want to take this into your car? No power. No problem. This is exactly why we hooked up the 9 volt battery connector earlier. Maybe your power went out, maybe you don't have a computer in your room, hell, maybe you don't even have an air conditioner in your car. Many places around the world don't even have AC in the heat of summer. This could potentially be a lifesaver. Now we're going to find out just how well this performs. I shut the AC off in my house until the temperature reached about 84 degrees. Let's run this thing and speed it up and see how well it does over a 15 minute period. While we're waiting for this test to run, I want to tell you about a contest our friends at Tech Trip are running. College undergrads just submit a pitch for a chance to win a trip to Lenovo, Intel, Dolby Labs, and Namco Bandai Games. All expenses are paid, you'll get behind the scenes access, and you can win great prizes. It's an awesome resume builder. Go to facebook.com slash Lenovo Student US. I'm telling you guys, check this out. I truly believe one of my viewers can win this thing. Links in the description. So after about 15 minutes, the temperature dropped down to 73 degrees, which is huge. Now keep in mind, this is going to be a very small enclosed area that it'll work in. It's not going to fill up an entire room, but if it's in your bedroom and close to your head, it should be a perfect match for you. 